what's going on everybody got a few tips and tricks for you what you see in the background is a uh, roll of orange film that I picked up from Hobby Lobby um, basically what the orange film does it will cut through the blue intensity of your LEDs of your light so that way you can take better pictures of your corals um, we all know that the in order to make corals pop you have to have a pretty good mixture of blue LEDs so and not only that, but a lot of us take pictures with our, our cell phones. And this is what I kind of rigged up. Um, it's just the, the film cut up in a little square. And then I used some painter's tape, which really didn't hold up. The next step that you got to do is simply go to your settings on your phone. Um, change your ISO from automatic, because I know that's where most of us have it. And then drop it down to 100. And what the ISO 100 is going to do is going to make the uh, background really dark. And that's what you really want um, to go ahead and make uh, your corals pop. Let me just go ahead and show you the difference. Regular camera right there. And now my cell phone camera with the orange film taped up on it. Big difference. Like I said, you can play around with it. You can um, see if ISO 100 is for you. ISO 200. Play around with the saturation on your cameras and all that. But, um, you know, just really quick, simple, easy thing to do. The next... Uh, Coral that I want to show you is a blasto. I have an ordinary blasto right there. Really, no difference on that one that you can see on this uh, video. But there's another blasto on the left. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it looks right now. Like I said, there's a blasto. Let me show you the difference. So, I mean, it makes some, for some interesting videos. If you want to shoot video, you can do it like that. Or if you just uh, post pictures on Instagram, because this is where I got I uh, ended up learning that. So by the orange film, like I said, I got mine at Hobby Lobby, and they actually actually sell a variety of filters with different colors and on that on Amazon. The next tip and trick that I have for you is the use of PVC cutters. They work really excellent to, on uh, cutting up frozen food. I like feeding my fish frozen food because it's healthy. They're uh, meaty foods, and I can throw in a mixture of different cubes. Like I said, I throw a mysis cube in there, a brine shrimp cube, and also uh, some krill. I like feeding the krill to my anemones whole, but when it comes down to my fish, um, I just like getting the cutters and just chopping it up really finely. Of course, when you do this, you want to use RO water. You want to rinse off the cubes to clean off any extra phosphates in your tank. What I've been doing in doing with my mixture is throwing in some reef chili and coral frenzy so that every time I feed my fish I'm also target feeding my corals. Um, after each use you want to refrigerate the water bottle and of course you're going to write uh, fish on the bottle so that nobody can mistakenly drink this stuff. That would be pretty nasty. Um, hope you guys like this video guys. It's a really easy way to use frozen food and make sure you hit that like button and uh, appreciate the subscription. Thanks for watching guys and take care.